Kylie Minogue may be best known for her brand of sparkly, candy-coated pop, but she's actually a much stranger and experimental artist than people give her credit for. Her mid to late 90s output was especially unexpected, coming from a traditional pop star, and her discography since then has been filled with some truly unique deep cuts. While her album X is often cited as being one of her more experimental, Kylie quietly dropped two EPs back in 2014 and 2015 that were even more left of center. These two records, called Sleepwalker and Kylie and Garibay, are filled with some of the most unconventional songs in her catalog, and they're fascinating to look at as a peek into Kylie's more uncommercial side. In 2013, Kylie signs to Rock Nation, hoping to work with new people and get out of her musical comfort zone. One of the people she worked with during this time was producer Fernando Garibay, who previously produced songs for tons of A-listers, such as Britney Spears and Lady Gaga. He also produced I Am Your Leader by Nicki Minaj, one of her best songs, so he's a legend in my mind. Kylie and Garibay made some songs together that were meant for her album Kiss Me Once, but none of them made the official tracklist. However, just a few months after Kiss Me Once's release, they decided to publish the songs on SoundCloud, and this was how we got 2014's Sleepwalker. Running only four songs long, this EP is a journey, and it's pretty obvious why the songs were left off of Kiss Me Once. That album certainly had its wild and over-the-top moments, but it was still fairly safe and mainstream accessible. Sleepwalker, on the other hand, is a thematically heavier and sonically varied collection of songs, with influences from electronica, reggae, and disco. Right from the opening track, Glow, it's apparent that this was a different kind of project. Glow is an atmospheric and strangely emotional song, with Kylie giving a melancholic vocal performance over a dumping dance track. The lyrics seem to be about her being haunted by either an ex-lover or a current lover who is keeping her up at night. I don't know if she means she's tossing and turning all night long because she can't stop thinking about this man, or if she's doing something else with this man, but I think that's the brilliance of this song. It's up for interpretation, and either way you read into it, there's still a sense of sadness throughout it that really comes through in her vocals. Glow is one of my favorite Kylie deep cuts. It gives me chills every time I listen to it, and it's seriously so underrated. Same goes for Chasing Ghost, the closing track, which is an absolute bop. The song is a reggae-infused pop track, with vocals from an unidentified male singer. Is he actually unidentified? I tried looking up who it was, but I couldn't find anything. It's so weird. Regardless, Chasing Ghost is a summer staple for me. It is maddeningly catchy, and Kylie doesn't sound as out of place as you might think she would on a reggae track. It's definitely the most upbeat song here, though the other two tracks, Wait and Break This Heartbreak, are tons of fun as well. They have a grand, epic sound and quality to them that make this EP feel larger than life, despite its short runtime. Fans ate Sleepwalker up, with many wishing she would work with Garibay again. Lucky for them, the two teamed up immediately after its release due to the positive response to create a few more tracks. Despite Kylie's busy schedule being on the Kiss Me Once tour, the two met with each other when they could, in either London or in LA, to record the new tracks. Kylie used these sessions as a creative outlet, making music that wasn't really meant for mainstream attention. Roughly a year later, in September 2015, the duo dropped Kylie and Garibay, a three-song EP that tells the story of falling out of and back in love. The opening track, Black and White, is another one of my favorite Kylie songs. It's equal parts triumphant and epic sounding, as it is heartbreaking, with lyrics discussing her past lover and how she knows he'll never be coming back. The intense electronic production, coupled with her emotive performance, makes this song a standout in her discography. There's really no other song she has that's like it. The next song, If I Can't Have You, sees Kylie letting go of her past feelings and getting ready to move on to a new relationship, while the final song, the Giorgio Moroder Produce Your Body, sees her fully embracing a new lover. This EP retains the atmospheric and experimental electronic production of Sleepwalker, and it's once again a truly grand body of work, despite only being about 12 minutes long. Some of her best storytelling takes place on these records, and they're really a testament to how Kylie is way more than the glitzy, glamorous pop diva we know her as. In her Zack Sang interview, she described herself as being happily malleable, meaning she gladly goes along with whatever genre or musical trend she's playing around in, and the Kylie and Garibay records are a reflection of that. She not only sounds comfortable in this more experimental lane, but she gives a theatrical, highly emotive performance that you don't hear too frequently on her studio albums. 
These two records are a really interesting part of her discography. They came about during a transitional time in her career, as a byproduct of one of her most divisive records, and nowadays remain beloved by fans, but relatively unknown to most people. And honestly, I kind of love that. It's cool that we have these under-the-radar projects that show off a completely different side of Kylie, a side that longtime fans have always known about, and a side that's bound to surprise new listeners. I know I was shook when I first heard them when I was getting into her music, and I love revisiting them both in full every now and then since they really are an experience. Even though they're collectively only 7 songs long, the Kylie and Garibay records are among some of her best work, and exemplifies what makes Kylie Minogue a musical mastermind.